Hey, what's going on? My name's Shannon, the guy with the girl's name. Welcome back. And in today's video, we're going to be talking about the Rode Wireless Go. So these are really awesome bits of kits and really a game changer in my opinion. Before using this, I was using the Rode Link wireless system and absolutely loved it. But one of the things I disliked about it, it was it was just so big. And these things right here are tiny. I mean, ju just tiny compared to a quarter. You can fit a quarter on there. You can fit two of these onto one of the receivers. You can stack two of these up and it's about the thickness of one of the receivers on the Rode Link wireless system. So all in all, it's just an amazing, small, portable piece of kit. Now, one thing that I really love about it is it allows me to take these things wherever I go quickly and easily set them up and get great wireless recording really fast. One of the great things about the transmitter is it actually has the microphone built right into the transmitter. So you don't need to use a wireless lob. Now it doesn't come with a wireless lob in the mic, but if you have one, you can actually connect it on there as well and use that. If you don't want to have the big box in the shot, you can just connect wireless lav, then hide it just like you would any other lavalier system. However, for me, in most of the use cases that I'm using it, it's really run and gun. I'm using it with my mobile phone and using it for Instagram stories, Instagram live, whenever I want to be away from the camera and still get great, great audio. This is a great solution for that. And I'm going to put together a video that shows you exactly how I use it for that. So far, I really have had no complaints of it at all. The audio is great, which we'll do a test here in a second. Right now you're listening to the Rode Link wireless system, not the Rode Wireless Go. But I haven't had any issues and the audio has been absolutely amazing. Now I've seen other reviews where people lose signal whenever they turn their back from the receiver and the transmitter. They're not, they don't have direct line of sight. They lose the audio. However, in my use cases, really not going to use it that way. So it's one of those things that I really don't care about. Now the receiver is actually pretty awesome. You can see both of the battery power on the receiver and the transmitter. You have an audio levels output so you can see where your audio is so you're not peaking or if you are peaking. Uh, you can also change the decibel level from a low, medium, and high decibel level. And all you gotta do is click the decibel button and that does it. Power buttons are, are marked on the bottoms of the receiver and the transmitter as the actual O from the road logo. So that's kind of cool. Just hold those power them both on and they link. One of the cool things that I heard is you can actually use up to eight of these in one room and they will all work just fine. I haven't tested that. I only have one set. However, I am going to order another set because I want to, I have two sets of the road, uh, the road link system, the road link wireless system. I'm going to grab two sets of these as well. All in all, this is a win in my book, something that I would highly suggest, especially if you're looking to get great audio with like Instagram stories, Instagram live, things of that nature. I'm actually gonna put, a, put together a really cool video on some of the unique, unique ways I've been using this system. It's gonna be awesome. All right, let's do some audio tests. Okay, right now you're listening to the Rode Link wireless system. One, two, three, four, five, pops and S's, pops and S's. All right, so now you're listening to the Rode Wireless Go. Testing one, two, three, four, five, pops and S's and pops and S's and all of that good stuff. We now have the lavalier that comes with the Rode Link Wireless System connected to the w Rode Wireless Go. This is the type of audio you can expect to get from that. In my experience and without actually looking at the waveforms, the noise floor and things of that nature, I really cannot tell a difference between this and the road, uh, the road link. So to me, they're both fantastic pieces of equipment. But if you're in a situation where you want to not have a big box sitting on your chest and you want to hide the, the transmitter, all you got to do is throw a lavalier mic on there. So the microphone's currently connected to the a7 III, the Sony a7 III. And the audio on the a7 III is set to three. The Rode Wireless Go is set on the middle setting, and I believe that's zero. And this is what it sounds like. Mm 
little bit of ambient noise. Uh, right now my air conditioner is on, however my fan is off. So you can kind of hear what that sounds like when there's a little bit of ambient noise in the background as well. I think it's really going to clean up well and not going to be a huge issue. So far, everything I've used this on, the audio has come out to me fantastic. I'm not an audiophile. I don't sit with uh, you know noise canceling headphones on and try to pick apart all of the audio. All I want is great sounding audio. As long as it sounds great to my ears, I think it works great. The Rode Link, I've been completely happy with. The Rode Wireless Go, completely happy with. I have a ton of Rode products. Also have the Rode Video Mic Pro, the Rode Caster Pro. So it's one of those things where I'm heavily in invested in the Rode ecosystem. I've spent and bought every single piece of equipment with my own money, so it's not biased in any way. If you're looking for an affordable way to get great sounding audio, I would go for this. Why would I not use the Rode Wireless Go? I would not use the Rode Wireless Go if I was in a professional environment where I had a fear that the talent was going to turn away from that line of sight from my camera where there would be their body or some other solid structure in between the receiver and the transmitter. If I was in that situation, I definitely would use the road link because it's more reliable. And if I'm going to use it for my own videos where I know I can stay in control of where that receiver is and where the transmitter is, I'm most likely gonna grab these just because of the convenience. I'm gonna do a comparison between the Rode Link and the Rode Wireless Go to, so you can see the differences. I'm also going to connect a uh, smart lav onto here so that you can see what that sounds like in all the, in the different comparisons. But from this perspective, if you're recording yourself, want a great sound, if you're recording other people and your control of where the transmitter is going to be in comparison to the receiver of the camera, I think it's an absolute must have. So the links are in the description. All you need to do is click those links. I am an affiliate at Amazon and other places where those links are pointing. So if you do clickety smash on one of those things, I will get a small percentage. However, it doesn't affect your cost. It just helps support the channel and what we do. If you liked it, make sure you hit that like button subscribe. Also hit the bell notification if you want more videos that talk about gear that you can use to help grow your business. Make sure you hit subscribe. That's what we're all about. How you can grow your business using the internet and the technology that it provides so that you can increase revenues by doing cool stuff. So anyway, thanks. Have a fantastic day. And as always, hopefully I'll see you on the beaches of the world. You can fly high